hi everyone welcome back to my channel Donna here back in the craft room today it's Friday and you know what that means it's bubble wreath time uh, I told you that the, during my last video about a young lady in our community who had just celebrated a birthday and I thought it might be fun to make a bubble wreath for her for her front door as a, a happy birthday present but I think I forgot to tell you what birthday she celebrated and I don't think she really would mind I know she wouldn't mind uh, she celebrated her 100th birthday 100 years it's amazing 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 what this woman has seen in her lifetime if you think of what a hundred years ago from November 13th of this year was so uh, she is a remarkable lady we had two parties here in the community with dance bands and dinners and uh, and she partook of every one of them she played golf up until about five years ago and if I'm not mistaken the last year she played golf she got a hole in one and it wasn't her first one so this young lady is uh, remarkable and she's just what I'd like to be when I grow up so at any rate I'm going to get together and make a bubble wreath for her and if you remember I had two choices uh, I had a solid red and a solid gold that I could use I've decided to go with the red her door is a little bit off of the street and sits sort of sideways like under her carport so I thought the red would show up better her house is gray so I thought the red would show up better and I so I think it'll be just great and I'm gonna bring you down to the desk and we'll make a bubble wreath hang in there right back Okay, here are the supplies that you're going to need. I have a 14 inch frame from the Dollar Tree and I have one whole roll of 21 inch by 10 yard mesh. It will take one whole roll of mesh to do this. I also have some pipe cleaners that I have cut in half. I don't think I have enough there but we'll work on it. And I have a couple of zip ties. You need one to start it with and one to end it with. And that's all there is to it for making the bubble wreath. And I'm going to start it like I start any other wreath. I'm just going to turn it sideways here while I gather so I can gather it better. Uh, you just gather the top. And hold, you know, a little bit like this in your hand. Okay, so I'm just going to take the mesh and I have it right here I have it about oh I don't know about three four inches and I'm just gonna go by this crossbar and I'll go one side here and the other side here and we'll come around and tighten this down And you can see how I have it. It's on the crossbar here. Okay. Now I'm going to use 10 inch bubbles and I have a mat in front of me with a lot of numbers on it so depending on where I line this up so that you can see it I think I'll line it up right about here. So I'm on the 7 inch mark right here so I will go 7 to 17. The biggest thing you have to remember with the bubbles is keep the open part underneath, okay? So we're going to go 7 to 17, and I'm bringing it right back up next to the one I just did. I'm going to take a pipe cleaner, and I'm going around the middle two bars, middle two rings. Except I just dropped the pipe cleaner. <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. Let's measure that one again. Make sure we don't mess it up. Here we go. And like I said, these will slide around until you get a few on. 
and I, underneath I'm just going to give it some good firm twists. I'm pushing it right up against the next one and I'm going to give it some firm twists and I hold my finger or thumb on the top of it just kind of holds it in place while I twist it. Okay. So then I just go back to my seven trying not to hit the camera tripod with my mesh usually I find in my first section I get about six but you won't get six in every section because as you begin to fill it up uh, it takes up more room This is really one of the easiest techniques to do for somebody who's not familiar with making wreaths. And again, I'm twisting it on the bottom. Now in this one, I'm going to take it and I'm going to twist it with the one I just did. And that again helps me to keep it from sliding 7 to 17 and this is 4 right up tight hold it with my finger and get a twist Some people do this technique uh, using zip ties all the way around. I find it just easier and faster for me to use the pipe cleaners. Okay, one more I think I can get in this section. side and twist if you find it hard to twist with just the half pieces use a whole pipe cleaner sometimes I find them aggravating <laughs> Okay, now I've got this section all done, and I'm just going to revisit my bubbles, spread them all up nice, go on to the next one. Seven to seventeen. And I don't have, I would be much easier if I were using my roller uh, for this mesh, but the camera tripod is in front of it. So 
so that's why my mesh keeps catching up to me <laughs> and I have to keep pushing it back. Now I'm going to tie this one to the one in front of it again. So here I'll give it a twist. Okay. And I'm going to take it and twist it. Just pick one little piece of the one next to it. It doesn't have to be tight, tight, tight. It just holds it from slipping so much. And I'm using the middle two bars right here. I think we can get another one in there. And I get a lot of questions about how many bubbles on each one. Let me get a little closer this way. How many bubbles on each one? Um, and I can count them at the end, but in all honesty, it really, they come out within two or three of each other, but, um, gracious, that one didn't want to twist. But for the most part, it's dependent on the mesh that you're using. Some mesh is thicker than other mesh. And I've moved up a little bit, so I'm just going 10, 10 inches from where I was. I, I think I was a little bit out of frame. How's everybody doing with their decorating? I seem... I start so early and I seem to be running out of time. <laughs> Now I'm going to make sure I'm not twisting it. Okay. Now I'm probably going to fast forward through some of this now so that you can 
relax and not watch every bubble go in. It doesn't take too long, but just the same. I think we'll go speed it up a little bit. Okay, we're up to two sections left. I think I'll do one more in this section here. And you know, if by any chance you, you didn't have enough, you can go back and spread some of these out. But for the most part, I've made it around with the one roll. Now these wreaths, the bubble wreath, doesn't lead itself to a lot of ribbons. Of course, because your ties are tied underneath. I have put ribbon in them before. And what you do is you just add at the same time you make a bubble. But um, for the most part, they really don't need that. Just a pretty bow is sufficient. And I think I will use red and gold ribbon for a bow. And I noticed um, that the Dollar Tree has some wreath hangers this year, which is kind of nice. They're not very sturdy, but that's all you need to hang, hang a wreath on the door as opposed to spending four and five dollars for one. And actually, they, they work well because they're not heavy, so they're not uh, sticking up so much that your door won't shut. Oh, and that, I'm push, pulling it the wrong way. There we go. Oops. Oh, I've got to get a few more. I bet everybody ready for Thanksgiving? I got an 18 pound turkey.
so there ought to be plenty because there's only going to be seven of us. <laughs> but then it makes good leftovers. Oh, avalanche. Now this one is just being a little bum. Doesn't want to twist. There we go. I won. <laughs> Last section. And those strings you see right here are just from the beginning where I um, tied it. And I will push this down underneath. And can see the roll. Oops. I think I will get two more. Here's the row. Well, of course I get one of those staples that's woven right into it. And the end has two. Okay. The back of these wreaths, <clears throat> excuse me, are neat also. You know, you can go back and kind of straighten them out. Now here's here's the end. So I'm gonna try to make sure I'm still not inside out here. And this is my piece here. I'm going to take it and bring it underneath. And 
zip tie it to the frame. I'm just zip tying it here at this crossbar. Ah, I did it wrong again. Mercy six. Here we go. And when they're wrong, they just don't work. <laughs> And I'm just going to take this little piece that's dangly here and trim it off. And these are just some of the strings from the first piece I tied. Now what do you think? Look at that. And you can go around and Arrange the bubbles if one seems to be outside. One, whoops, I'm sorry. One seems to be inside. This one needs to be puffed out more. And there you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's see what we have for ribbon. had some of this ribbon left from making my tree bow. And I don't want this to be a big puffy ribbon. I don't think this is going to be enough, but I'll give it a little try. No. Well, let's see. Great, great balls of fire here. Ah, <laughs> there we go. This gold ribbon, I mentioned it when I made the original bow. And I'm doing two on one side and one on the other. And I'm still not going to have long enough tails, but I can add tails. I'm going to see about going down through the bubble to the frame.
Plop. Okay, let me get a little dovetail action here. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a little bit of color. And let's just see what I can do with this little piece here. Cross them over. Turn them over and pinch them down. I think I'm just going to try to put this one maybe right in here. And we'll see how that looks. I have got one, one long one and one short one. So what I'm going to try to do is go down and up with the same one. find the end of it. Here we are. I didn't cut that one very pretty. Okay, let's go put it on the door so you can get a view of 
of what it looks like and we'll see what we want to do with these bows. I'm thinking I want to turn it around here so that these streamers are coming off the bottom. So I'll meet you back upstairs when I have it on a hanger. Right back. Well, here it is. Very pretty. Very pretty. I took off the bottom bow. I did not like it. The top bow is pretty, though. So there you go, a bubble wreath for the birthday girl. They're so easy to make. Give yourself, try it out. I'll be back on Sunday for Super Sunday. This will be our last Super Sunday. So I will see you then. Everybody take care and everybody play nice now. Bye-bye.